This video will be about how I finish building my drift trike or somewhat like something like a drift trike. Um, yeah, I already got the frame, but all the other parts that come onto it, I will do in this video. All right, let's get right into it. I bought uh, this uh, welder. So I bought the welder, I kind of like the day or the day after, I just started with an idea and uh, just began building. This is what I came up with as the frame. This is a bicycle. And then I just welded this stuff on. All right guys, the engine I'm gonna be using is a seven horsepower, 208 cc power fist engine. sitting on there. Alright guys, so I'm now gonna weld the sprocket to this slides onto here. So the sprocket fits on the other side, on the thinner side. So the sprocket is on. We have that keyway in here. And yeah, we're just gonna tighten it and that will be it for the sprocket. We have now got like the axle mounted. The engine is almost mounted, we're working on it. This is how far we got today. Almost done. But um, it's gotten really late on us here. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Guys, it's now the next day. Um, and yeah, we will proceed with the go-kart build. We'll probably hopefully make it run today. But before we do so, I will clean up this jump. Or at least get this USB sheet. this USB sheet go and watch it it's awesome so guys we took off the engine again because yesterday when I put it on I saw that this wasn't uh, sturdy enough so we're gonna have to brace it some more under here this is just gonna be the bracing so it all holds together we got the engine mounted my brother here John I think the clutch and the sprocket then right after I'll weld the tires onto it it's time to try and start this thing up and see if it all works off So this is so funny. 
So I sat my brother on and this engine is kind of weird like we don't have a throttle yet We just pulled up the uh, put up the rpm and just let it go My brother sits on it and it goes so fast. He goes flying away Luckily, he was able to pull out the key So I'll just get a new clutch and definitely gear it down Apparently these go-karts were supposed to have like 6 to 1 and I almost had like a 1 to 1, it was way too fast. The sun is shining, nice and bright out. Let's try and make this thing run without it breaking down. So first of all, I got a new clutch and I did put it on the right way so it can't fall off and break again. chain going from here to this sprocket. Now I'm gonna make a second axle right here. And put this sprocket on here, this sprocket. So that gears it down. This doesn't have to be done. You could just take this big one and put it on here. By putting, getting another axle, this lets me always be able to change this easily. Then I could make it either more torque or speed. So guys, I have a little problem. I work today and because of the virus, um, are the, the stores close uh, earlier here in Brandon. I work like half an hour away from Brandon. So I got to Princess Auto where I bought all these parts and I only had a couple minutes to get everything. So I was really in a hurry. And when I came home and unpacked it, some of the parts were wrong. So what we're gonna do now is just do what we can and then once I get back to the store, I'll get what I need and then I sh it should be able to work properly. Right now I'll be drilling out um, holes to bolt on these um, bearings that will hold the second axle with, with the two sprockets on it. trying to get it all right. I think we are almost ready to start it. We have the gearing here, geared down. Still not quite a seat, but brakes, throttle should work. I guess we'll see here. So she started up and I guess my brother's gonna try and take it for a spin. Let's go. 